war work of New Zealand women, Mrs. Roosevelt visited this munitions factory. Signing autographs was one way in which she expressed her admiration for the work these women were doing. The admiration was mutual. The women realized that she also had a strenuous wartime job, and they admired the energy she devoted to it. Near Rotorua, Maori land girls showed Mrs. Roosevelt and Miss Ryan of the American Red Cross how they were filling the men's jobs. Mrs. Roosevelt talked with the girls, and Miss Ryan got a taste of New Zealand. At Waka, Mrs. Roosevelt went sightseeing. She had seen geysers in the States, but Rangi's quips were something new. After a brief wait, they saw Pahutu play, a display of energy that matched Mrs. Roosevelt's own in her all too brief visit to New Zealand. New Zealand needs more electric power. This is one of the places where there will be a new hydroelectric station. It is on the Waikato River at Karapiro near Cambridge. Excavations for the dam and spillways are already well ahead. The man-made cliff on the right bank will be one abutment of the new dam. These detonators are being prepared and tested for electrical firing. In the morning, this tunnel will be blown open to the river by 800 pounds of dynamite. The concrete-rimmed wall of rock will disappear from the scene. The huge diversion tunnel has been bored almost to the river. The thin wall of rock remaining has been drilled in many places, and in the half dark, down at the level of the riverbed, the charges of explosive are going in. While the dam is being built in the dry riverbed, the tunnel will carry every gallon of the diverted Waikato's waters. From the diving board across the river, but little of the tunnel is seen above water level. The spoil which can be seen down at the bend is the beginning of a copper dam, which will divert the river into the tunnel. Now it's early morning. The tunnel has been filled with water overnight. The scene is deserted. It's safe to look now, and it's an ill blast that blows nobody any wood. The tunnel is open, but there's a dam to build and generators to install. And so for the present, Waikato rolls on untamed, taking many a yet unharnessed horsepower down through the gorges to the sea. These are dive bombers over New Zealand, something new in aircraft for the RNZAF. Douglas Dauntless planes, piloted by New Zealanders. On one of our northern air stations, New Zealand airmen and ground crews are now being trained in the flying and maintenance of these American dive bombers. The instructors are American pilots who've flown these planes in combat. have already been used with success in the war zones of the Pacific, and they've proved their worth against Jap bases. <laughs> New Zealanders are apt pupils. They learn to fly the Dauntless as quickly and efficiently as they learn to fly the Spitfire and the Hurricane. American or English planes, they're all the same to them.
burst out of the clouds at 300 miles an hour. Artillery of the air, ready to help blast the Japs out of the Pacific. <laughs> 